Today's story is about a little boy named Hansel and a little girl named Gretel. Hansel and Gretel lived with their father and stepmother in a little house near a wood. Their father was a woodcutter and he was very poor. They were all very hungry. One day Hansel and Gretel's father said, We have no money left. There is no more food for us to eat. Then Hansel and Gretel cannot live here, said their stepmother. We must leave them in the middle of the wood. No, said their father. But their stepmother said, We must. Hansel and Gretel were listening at the door. I have a plan, said Hansel, and he went out to get some pebbles. The next day, they all went into the wood. Hansel dropped pebbles on the path. Wait here, said their father. We are going to collect wood. Hansel and Gretel waited all day. Then they followed the pebbles back home. The woodcutter was glad to see Hansel and Gretel. But their stepmother was angry. There is not enough food for us all, she said. We must take Hansel and Gretel deeper into the wood. No, said their father. We can't do that. We must, said their stepmother. This time they must not find their way home. Hansel's stepmother locked the door so that Hansel couldn't get out. He couldn't collect pebbles. Oh dear. The next day, they all went deep into the wood. This time, Hansel dropped breadcrumbs on the path. Wait here, said their father. We're going to collect wood, he said. Hansel and Gretel waited all day. Then they looked for the breadcrumbs on the path. Oh, but the birds had eaten all the breadcrumbs. Hansel and Gretel went deeper into the wood. They walked for a long time. In the middle of the wood, they found a house made of sweets and cakes. Mm, it smells so good and they were very hungry. In the house lived a witch. The witch had planned to eat Hansel and Gretel. She locked Hansel in a cage and gave him lots of food. Soon he will be fat enough to eat, said the witch. <laughs> then I will cook him in my fire, <laughs> cackled the witch. Where is the fire, said Gretel. Here, <laughs> said the witch, and she opened the oven door. I can't see the fire, said Gretel. The witch opened the oven door a little wider. I still can't see it, said Gretel. The witch opened the oven door as wide as she could 
Gretel pushed her in and locked the door. Gretel let Hansel out of the cage. Look at all this money, said Gretel. We can take this home and buy food with it. After a long walk, Hansel and Gretel found their way home. Their father was very glad to see them. Your stepmother has gone, he said. So Hansel and Gretel and their father all lived happily ever after in their little house near the wood. Did you enjoy the story? <laughs>